afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Now to the plate, Justin Turner, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And that misses for ball four, so it's a five-pitch walk to get us started here this afternoon. Here's Corey Seager, his head-to-head -head numbers against Carlos Martinez. He's gone three for six. Ground ball, foul down the left side. Turner on at first, nobody out. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The second for one, relay to Goldie, and that gets him as well a double play. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He's had 14 at bats in the series, picking up four base hits. Two and one now to Mookie. Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. Now here it comes. Liner in there for a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. The right fielder, Cody Bellinger. In now, Cody Bellinger. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double right now, he's going to have to buckle down to try to keep this game scoreless. From the stretch, the one-two. Great job to lay off that pitch after fouling off so many previous to it. I got to believe that pitchers certainly get frustrated in these types of at-bats. Okay. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. Rounded slowly to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Up with it, Smith. And the throw is there to record the first out. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. A ball and two strikes now. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. One out, nobody on. And he takes strike three called. Back to back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. The first baseman, Paul. The 1 1. This is line to left. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He's driven in three runs on three hits so far in the series. Now here's the pitch. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Here's Jock Peterson now, batting 300 for the series, 3 for 10. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Out.
outside and a full count three and two. Will Smith waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Molina waits on it. Makes the play one away. Next up for Los Angeles, Will That's Smith that. comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Edmund takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Into the box now. Zach McKinstry. Nine at bats for him in the series so far and he's collected a pair of hits. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. One and two. Misses. Ball two. No score here as we play inning number two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So here's the Dodgers pitcher, Julio Arias. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Bader is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Here's Matt Carpenter. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. Yachty Molina digging in now. Now the one and one pitch. It is a fastball that misses. Arias has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In this day and age of smaller ballparks, the ball's lively, the bats are harder. This and a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. At the plate now, Tyler O'Neill. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Fouled away. Slow little grounder left side. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the back. Standing in now, Lane Thomas. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The count now at two and two. Fouled off. This one's down to third. Gloved by Turner. There's one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side.
So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Three balls, two strikes. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now batting. Here's Corey Seager. 0 for 1 Corey. here in the early going. Here now the 2-2. Smoke toward third. Carpenter is there. And this throw almost took off on him, but a fine play to leave his feet at first and then come down on the bag to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Max Muncy would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Now the 2 1 pitch. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. And it's fouled away. Once again, a 3-2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So here now is the pitcher, Carlos Martinez. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. The second baseman. The pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. up is Max Muncy for the series he's three for 12 this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case and they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out so stepping in Jock Peterson 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through yeah, Matty, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Right back at the mound, and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Now batting. The pitcher. Will. Into the box now. Will Smith hit down the line at first. To second for one. On to first, and it's another double play. They're second in the first four innings as that one will retire the side. Ready for another chance. Tommy Edmond. He'll match up with Julio Urias to lead off the inning. The 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 
fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Fouled away. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. One and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. And they take the lead. It's gone. Stepping in now, Matt Carpenter. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The next to bat for St. Louis, Yadier Molina. One for one Yadier. after a single this first time up. hit the other way out toward right field. Bellinger's under it and that's the first out of the inning. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth and into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. Two runs three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. O'Neill swings and belts it to right. This ball's deep. Bellinger is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now batting, Lane the Thomas. Fielder, number 35, Lane Thomas. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Betts, and it's gone. At the plate, Harrison Bader. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Number 62 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 62. Striding in, Zach McKinstry reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. lifted the other way down the left field line and that will end up a foul ball now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one weak rounder back to the mound Oh, and a look what I found out there on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Chris Taylor will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Another full count pitch home. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Justin Turner. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty. 
And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey Seager. So now to the plate, Corey Seager. In the dirt here. So now two men in scoring position. No runs, three hits. One error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. High in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Here's Mookie Betts. It was a walk in his last trip. Mookie Betts. One one. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Jimmy Nelson is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number four, Jairo Munoz will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Jairo Munoz. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Two one pitches a slider taken for a cold strike two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Colton Wong. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Nope. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3 and 1. Fouled off. Fifth inning here in a 4 to 1 ball game. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball 4. At the play, Tommy Edmond. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. And there he goes towards second. This is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Line to shortstop. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's working on a one for two game so far. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And a sinker there swung on and missed for out number three. John Gant takes over to start the sixth now, inning on the mound. Number 53. So here's Cody Bellinger. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Ready to deliver the one and two. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping into the box, Max Muncy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. O'Neill waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. The 1-1 home. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. 0 for 2 of the run scored so far. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. So a full count now. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second is Carpenter. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man in his scoring position on the leadoff double. The bat, the bat, the Yadier. To the plate now, Yadier Molina. And this pitch misses for a ball. Two and one now to Molina. Two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Sent on the ground out to second, and a good throw gets him one gone. Striding into the box, Tyler O'Neill, one for two on his line so far in the game. Oh, yeah. 1-1 one, one. is blasted out to left center. This one's deep and not coming back. Gone! At the plate now, Lane Thomas. Fastball called strike. One and two. Got him. So two gone now in the St. Louis half of the sixth. And into bat next to one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one. And he's... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Next for the Dodgers, Will Smith. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Line drive to left. And a perfect start to the seventh, as this should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Up next for the Dodgers, the second baseman, Zach McKinstry. Into the box, Zach McKinstry. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with You're nobody out. Lead. Matt Beatty will get an opportunity the off the bench here as he'll bat with runners at the corners now and still nobody out. inside corner don't know that he liked it but it's a full count now three and two with two strikes now and a runner at first do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone you can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball one gone now in the LA seventh and that'll bring up the third baseman Justin Turner 
the 2 1 home. Now a swing and a fly ball. Long run for the right fielder, but this will land untouched. The 2 2 is high and outside for a ball. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off it. And oh, he gives it the old Ole at third, and he gets right by him into left. And the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. Stepping in now, Corey Seager. On the ground up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Long for one. On to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. Ross Stripling gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Paul DeYoung is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Ready with another 2 2. Drilled down the line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Now batting. Here's Colton Wong now. Baseman. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Standing in, Tommy Edmond. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. This will kick up against the wall now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Into the box now, Paul Goldschmidt. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is safe at the plate as they continue to pile on. It's now a 7-2 ball game. The first baseman, number 15. Standing in now, Matt Carpenter. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. A runner on first with two away. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Ran it in on him as this is bounced toward short. Reined in. Throw on to Muncie. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Ryan Helsley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 56. At the plate, Mookie Betts, one for two with a double on his line thus far. 3-2 pitch. Goldschmidt into foul territory. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Helsley, a 25-year-old, he was a fifth-round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft. 
hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. On the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Max Muncy. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bader is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Blake Trinan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 49, Blake Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. Skied into straightaway right. Bellinger is there to put it away for route number one. Ready to take his hacks again. Tyler O'Neill. As he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now at the plate, Lane Thomas. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 1. Two out, nobody on. Just hung in there on that one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Maddie. Dan. What does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Piro, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Hit the other way out toward right field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Set to start the ninth in this one. Into the box now. Jock Peterson is working on a one for three thus far. And there's ball two now. Ball three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. And this pitch misses here. It's ball. They've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. A runner at first with no outs here. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now that so striding forward now, that. Zach McKinstry. He singled his last time up. Here now the 2-2 two -two is looked at and the count moves full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Line drive to center field. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there. And that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 7-2 to two, the final score this afternoon. The St. Louis Cardinals took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Number 62 claims the win out of the pen his first. Julio Arias was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss.
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. for this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Dodgers, two runs, six hits, one error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.